Grapevines need three essential things in order to produce the leaves and shoots and fruit. The first one is sunlight. There's plenty of that today. The second one is water. And we get water in the soil either through rain or melting snow or by irrigation if you happen to have that. The third thing they need is nutrients. Now we're not talking about nutrients like you and I think about nutrients. Things like vitamin C and vitamin B12 and riboflavin, whatever riboflavin is. But we're talking about something more elemental. We're talking about nutrients like nitrogen and oxygen and potassium and boron and things like that. These elements, these nutrients, are the important building blocks of everything that goes on in the vine. From the chloroplasts and the chlorophyll needed for photosynthesis, to proteins and enzymes that are important for growth and development of the vine, to the aroma and color and flavor compounds that are in the fruit. Without those nutrients, none of this can happen. But how do we know if the vines are getting enough of those? Well, there are a couple of tests that we can do, and I wanted to show you those tests today. The first test is called a soil test, and it's exactly what it sounds like. We're testing the soil to see how much of those nutrients are available. The other test is called a tissue test, or in this case, a petiole test. And we're actually testing a piece of the vine to see how much of those nutrients are actually in the plant. Now, if you just do one of those, you're really not getting the full picture. If you only test the soil, you're not seeing what the plant is actually getting and what's actually affecting the fruit growth and development of the vine. If you only test the plant, if you only do the tissue test, you don't know what's in the soil. You don't know what's in that reservoir that the plant is trying to tap into. And so you don't know what you might need to add or change when you put a fertilizer down. So you really need to have both tests in order to be able to get a full picture of what the nutrient status is in your vineyard. So how do you take those tests? Well, I'll show you. Let's go find out. When we're testing the tissues of the plant, we use a certain part of the plant called the petiole. And the petiole is the piece that connects the leaf blade to the shoot of the vine. So it's this little stem right here connecting the two. So this is the piece of tissue that we want to collect for our sample. Now which leaves, which petioles do we want to collect? Do we just take any of them? Well it depends on the time of year that we're doing the collection. There are two times during the growing season when we take tissue tests in grapes. The first one is at bloom time when those flower clusters are starting to pop open and petals starting to fall off and the grapes starting to fertilize. And when we're taking tissue samples at that point in the season, we collect the petioles that are on leaves opposite of those clusters. So we would be down closer near the bottom of the shoot. So if, we were, if this was closer to bloom, we would take leaves that are farther down here in, this, in the fruit zone here. But as you can see, we're not at bloom. We're just near the end of verasion. So what we do is we move further up the shoot up to what we call the most recently mature leaf or the youngest fully mature leaf. And basically what that means is we go up the shoot that has clusters on it and we come up and we find a leaf that's fully green and just about full size. Not quite full size, but just about. And we want to avoid uh, as much as possible taking leaves from lateral shoots. And so to take this, you just rip the leaf and the petiole off there separate the two, you just give it a twist, drop the leaf blade, we don't need that, and this is what we're going to collect. So we need to collect about 50 to 80 of these, depending on how big they are. So in this field, these are relatively big, we'll need about 60 or 70 of these. If you're looking at a variety that has very small petioles, uh, maybe something like Pinot Noir sometimes, or Chardonnay, or some other hybrid varieties maybe, you might need to collect more like 80 or 90 of them. If you have really big leaves and big petioles, something on like Concord, you might only need about 50 or 60. So before we ta start taking our samples, we just need to make sure that we have the proper equipment, two sample collection devices, and one sample collection container. Let's go. All right, one sample down, a few more to go. We just sampled a Cabernet Franc block. There's a few more varieties in this vineyard, so we really want to take a different sample for each variety that's here. Um, even if you have the same variety on different rootstocks, you might want to take separate samples for those as well. But for now, one variety down, a few more to go.